Come on, we waiting on you. Oh, here. Oh. I'm fixing your drink. Yeah, waiting right. On waiting on you. Got Erin back. She finally back in the mix. She been gone. Hey, Chico. <laughs> Next week, here we go. Come here. We got Chico out there. Next week, here we go. Do it again. We go. Why are we, we doing gonna, it again we next weekend? Again. Oh, you're talking That's about that. last weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, come on. I ain't doing this again next weekend. Let's that go. chick angel. That chick angel. A friend just got here. Marcus is such a fool. Such a goddamn fool. Hello. How are you? Mashara. Mashara. Hey hey y'all. Hey hey. <laughs> yes. Come on, you got people in snow. <laughs> I didn't expect to bowl anything over a 50. We were about high school, like 98. Yeah, I think one time you did that. It was horrible. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Uh, I did but I did, it, I did exactly what I expected to do by the time we got to the bowling alley. Anyway, we about to eat some. We at BJ's. We got, they over here discussing uh, books and movies, directors and stuff as Quinn. Jason, he was a winner of the night. He bowled the highest score. We're not gonna say the highest score because it's still really low, but he bowled the highest score. <laughs> the high score is still really low. He did. She bowled the. She bowled the first highest score was the Noah. 
Still an extremely low score, but out of everybody there, she was definitely three digits. That is not. That is not that's the highest score. But 105 is three digits, which is and still I really had low. 140 something. Which is still low, babe. Uh, 140. Don't. We're gonna edit that out because that's not nothing to brag about. <laughs> I mean, in the in the scheme of professional bowling, yes, 140 is horrible. But in the scheme of casual bowling, it was phenomenal. It's okay. Good. It's good. It's good in, in casual half bowling. A perfect game. It's like it's a it's a L. Half a perfect game. No, it's not an A. Wait, 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 no, she so said 300 is a perfect score, right? Yeah. yeah. So 146 is L. But, but you say L. Yeah, L. It's an L. It's an L. It's an L. But this luckily is not a written test. It's thrown a ball. It's an L. Okay. It's not a L. How people say aura? People say aura and yawn. It's a C minus. It's a C minus. Far better than everybody else. It's great on the curve. Amongst us, it is perfect. We're great on the curve. Yeah, we're great on the curve. You A plus. Basically, I won, and that's all that matters. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I won with an F. That means everybody was extra F. Yeah. Extra F. Oh no. Negative. Now, if you was playing dodgeball uh, with a bunch of six-year-olds and you won, it was negative F. <laughs> yeah, you doing it? I'm fine with that. She's like, yeah, I'm fine with that. She won. Now. Anyway, we awesome. got to. Uh, <laughs> Everybody got babysitters for the night. Oh, really oh we got me. We need to order some food. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get two extremely healthy dishes because one will just piss me off. Yeah, and she's she's over here judging their deep dish pizza because she's from Chicago. I'm very judging. I should be. Go ahead, baby. Anyway, just spaghetti carbonara. My babies, say hey. Hey. <laughs> Sai, where are you going? Sai, leave the oranges alone. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> um, so uh, the, their dad brought them to church. So now their dad should be headed home. Get off the oranges. 
their dad should be headed home and I was just grabbing some other stuff for Sunday dinner. So, cabbage. And I'm gonna grab one other thing and then some milk because we're running out of milk. Or cereal. So cute. Okay, y'all, we are now at home. Mr. Sexton's over there. You have a good church service? Y'all, it is, how, what's the temperature, babe? It's 85 degrees. It is legitimate, have your yams out weather. And my yams are about to be out. Right now, though, I have on these cute, thin orange pants that I got from Kentucky. Why are you throwing stuff for Christmas? Uh, so it's perfect. And then this shirt, even though it's long sleeve, is um, thin, so I'm not burning up. But I had to um, sing in choir today, so I wanted to make sure I was covered fully i even got on a cami y'all so the hair loss in the back of my head is now great enough that it's harder for me to cover the spot in the back so like marcus was helping me get my hair together today and so he suggested that i do a hair tie because the with the hair shifting you were gonna be able to see the bald spot so uh y'all it's a struggle like I said, I still got a lot of hair here, praise the Lord. We're going to see if we can get the rest of my hair back. Like the fact that my hair still feels thick, even though there's a good 35% missing. Oh, you want me to shut up because you're trying to watch. I was in here watching TV. No, 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 you weren't. You were on your phone. I'm still watching TV though. But you, I didn't think you were paying attention to this sketch. I am. Well, you looked at me as if I knew you were because you were on your phone. He was on his phone. So I guess that means I need to let y'all go. I thought he would want to speak to y'all for a little bit. I just spoke. You talking about your I said son? for a little bit. Like I thought you might have something else to add to the conversation besides the liquor. Yeah. He drunkenly talked to y'all last night. I guess that's all he's got to get right now. He's intrusive. <laughs> I am. You're my husband. I should be able to intrude no, on you. You shouldn't. I should be able to just enter into your body. That's what she does, y'all. She just cut. Oh, I'm sitting here doing my thing. She just pops over the camera and starts talking. And then I end up looking like this because I'm like, this wasn't approved by me. He never wants to talk to you all. Like, if I Please only give wait. Your hands up. Hey, babe, I'm about to vlog in about 35 seconds. No, she just sits down. So I'm sitting here. Here he is. Say something to him. Okay, I'll do better. I'll do better. The thing is, he says no to me so so often. He'd be like, I just don't want to be on camera right now. And I just be like, it's going to be like two minutes. You can't give me two minutes? It's been longer than two minutes. It's, we had 2.38. And the reason why it's been longer than two minutes is because we've argued for the past 30 seconds. All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. You got to watch the things. Ouch. Why don't what you doing, Kai? You playing with tape? Tape measurer? What you gonna measure? Oh, she's so yummy. No, I didn't hear that. What did you hear? Uh oh, be careful. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What's happening, family? Ain't doing too much. We got some it's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. We got some uh, cabbage going, and I got some chicken on the grill. Um, it's late. As far as I know, the game is over with. I didn't watch the Super Bowl, y'all. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I haven't watched a single football game all season, uh, season because like, I ain't gonna say a lot of other people, but quite a few other people. I'm one of those people protesting the NFL and the games um, because of the whole Colin Kaepernick thing and him you know, protesting the national anthem and you know, just trying to raise awareness and everything, which I fully support and agree with. A lot of people are like, oh, you're disrespecting the flag, and you're disrespecting the troops. It has nothing to do with it. However, if you did want to protest the national anthem and disrespect the national anthem, I'm in fully agreement. I haven't stood or supported the national anthem 
probably in about 15 years, once I looked up who wrote the national anthem, why they wrote it, and the entire song. It's an extremely controversial, racial, racially charged, uh, oppressing song. Very oppressing. Uh, anyway, so I'm like, the hell with that national anthem. Um, I'm not going to ever support it. It needs to be rewritten, in my opinion. But anyway, so, it's neither here nor there. No, I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, I probably won't watch the single game next year. That's a whole nother topic, though. It is what it is. So, yeah, Angel went to run to the store really quick. I got some food on the grill, cabinet and stuff going. And uh, it's Sunday, y'all. We're just kicking back. Took tomorrow off, so I'm gonna kick back and Angel might sit out by the fire pit. Enjoy some uh, nice warm temperatures coming out of that. She just got back, walking through the door. So, check back in with y'all. Y'all have a good one. Happy Sunday. I don't know if whether or not I told you all I got my eyelashes done today. I might have, I can't remember. What do y'all think? Y'all think they look okay? They were only $55, which is really cheap because most people charge over 100 Anyways, sorry I'm picking, on my, picking my teeth. I just spilled something in there. Me and this uh, Tutti Patootie about to have dinner. He grilled some chicken, which I think he showed. You showed him the chicken already, right? No. He grilled some chicken thighs. And I made some cabbage. I got some green beans. Um, and we're having red wine. Um, but we're chilling. We didn't watch the Super Bowl today because I am passively boycotting the NFL still. He's actively, I say passively because I never was watching the NFL, so I'm not really making I mean, a sacrifice. Yeah, like my, my view matters, but when people ask, I'd be like, no, it sparks that conversation that I'd be looking forward to have with certain people. <laughs> so we really, we don't watch it. Um, we didn't watch it. Marcus is happy that the Patriots won. Lost. I mean, Patriots lost and that the Philadelphia yeah, I Eagles won. That just, I was like, oh, I am happy to see the Eagles win. Oh. Even more happier to see the Patriots, Patriots lose. lose. That's more so what you're happy about. So, yeah, that is uh, what. Um, I already explained all that, babe. I'm trying to okay. say my prayer and eat. Well, it's okay. <laughs> uh, I just want to show y'all this really quick. Cracking the Wall. This is a book I got, Lil Marcus. He's doing a book report on the Little Rock Nine. Um, and I think he was able to understand it. So just so y'all know. Oh, yeah, he definitely could just so y'all know if y'all ever looking for a book for eight-year-old appropriate This is a good one cracking the wall got it on Amazon All right guys, I'm gonna say my grace too. make sure you like this video subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, please and I Think you all will see me on blackish this Tuesday I'm almost for sure this time. So make sure you check me out and uh We'll talk to you all on uh, Friday, but we have a special video coming up for you all on Wednesday. All right. Bye. Love you. Be blessed.